everybody, it's Jeff Aromatix. How is everybody doing? I'm doing great. I am actually here at work on Coffee Break. And what a perfect opportunity to do a review of a coffee-inspired tobacco. And that is the Saint Espresso by Warped Tobacco. And that this is a collaboration, once again, between Kyle Gellis of Warped Cigars and Jeremy Reeves of Cornell & Deal. So what they've come up with here is a blend of three different cabin dishes. The two tobaccos I remember are one of uh, one is a cigar leaf, the other is a one sucker burley, and the third I cannot remember right now. So those are pretty hefty tobaccos in and of themselves. And so what they've done is steamed them and toasted them. And what the steaming and toasting will do is basically take out all the real rich and heavy uh, flavors, like say the cigar leaf that would draw out the, those real earthy and maybe some bitter uh, metallic tastes and, and just give you kind of a ghost or a basic shell of what the tobacco was and give it a little extra let the sweetness come through and then what they did was they they put an aromatic topping of uh, they're trying to mimic a espresso and I'll give it a smell here so the flavorings that seem to be added to give it that velvety espresso taste they're looking for comes across uh, it's sort of uh, it's kind of got that fudge cocoa uh, mocha smell sort of and creamy sort of reminds me of if you've ever had a monster drink the, the coffee version or if you've ever here at Tim Hortons coffee shop they have a hazelnut cold brew coffee kind of reminds me of that kind of a cold brew sweetened uh, not it's not really an express or an espresso coffee flavor that's pretty much impossible I've never seen anyone actually pull off actual coffee flavored tobacco. The closest I've gotten it would be Mocha Black by McClellan's. So I'll show you the cut right here. It's pretty chunky. There's mostly dark leaves in there. A little bit of a lighter brown as well. Got my Stacy Benson cob packed up. Usually use this for aromatics. So let's get this lit up and see what we're tasting. So it's a little moist in the tin. I'm sure you can smoke it as is, but I use my less than a minute drying method, which you can find on my channel. And it must have a nice uh, alcoholic based topping because it evaporates right away. It doesn't stick to the leaf. You can get it to dry um, as dry as you want without, it, uh, without that residue. Once it gets burning, it burns well. The same flavors come come in through the, the taste as well. So you're tasting what you're smelling. So you get sort of a chocolate, vanilla, marshmallow. It actually reminds me if you uh, if you've ever had the corn cob pipe and a button nose, what that smells like. That's kind of that's add a little bit of a coffee flavor to that, like a cold brew coffee, hazelnut cold brew. You'll get close to what this is. Retro Hill is pretty smooth. So it's it's got your basic Cavendish sort of taste, but this has got a little bit of more body than that. So you get a little bit of a catch in the back of your throat. Kind of think uh, think of it as a, a, a burly. There's sort of like a burly kind of feel to the background. Usually when you add an aromatic topping to, uh, like a heavy aromatic topping to any kind of tobacco, it sort of takes the tobacco taste away. But they've chosen the right tobaccos to, to keep that that body uh, without, without losing it to the flavors, which, which commonly happens. Um, but, all, but there isn't a lot of actual tobacco taste. You get a little bit of that cigar flavor coming through, a little bit of that ghost of a burly. Um, so it's not really tobacco forward, but it's it's body forward. So if you're if you're looking for an aromatic that's kind of got a little bit of a coffee taste, but with those kind of hazelnutty chocolate vanilla uh, tastes, I don't think you'd be disappointed. This is more for the aromatic crowd. I think if you're a tobacco person, this isn't going to necessarily change your mind. It might be a good change of pace, but I think if you're into aromatics and you're looking for something that's uh, that doesn't just feel like you're smoking hot air, this has got that. this. I'm pretty happy with this. I'd probably be a lot more excited if I wasn't as much into the cigar uh, rolling right now. That's kind of taken uh, a lot of my uh, a 
lot of my time and, and my, my mind. But as of, as it is, uh, great, I like it. It's a good, solid aromatic. And if you're looking, if it sounds like the flavors that you like, but you like something with a little bit more strength, but not too much strength, I think this is the way to go. I would check it out if, it's, uh, if it ever comes available again. I don't know if it's a regular production release, but uh, yeah. So, Saint Espresso from Warped Cigars. Definitely, uh, if it sounds like something you like. Uh, I think you will like it if, if, it's, if you're into you know, the aromatics. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I'll see you on my next one. Until then, aromatics, signing out.